if you're going to do your garage and be real serious about it, then you're going to build a room inside the garage. You cut the cement before you even start building the inside room. You cut the cement all the way down to the dirt. On the right it says cut in cement, and then it's got the arrow to that black line that goes all the way around. You got your wall here for your garage, right? And you got your floor, the, the plate that's on the floor. So you go an inch or so in, or however far you can get with this saw, you got to rent a cement saw, and you make a cut all the way around, all the way down to the dirt. Now what you have is you have an isolated pad inside the frame of the building. So now whatever comes and vibrates this wall is not making it to that inside pad because we've cut it. So if a truck goes by out there and vibrates the outside, it doesn't get to the inside pad. Right Now on the inside pad, you're going to build a new room. Now you put your plate down and you're going to build walls on the inside. First thing you're going to do is the same thing. You insulate the whole garage, then you cut the cement, then you start to build your inside room. And two of those walls want to look like you have a wall that starts here and goes up at a 12 degree angle. And what you have now is you are now making two walls that are not parallel with the opposing two walls. There's other ways to do this. Let's say if I was to have this wall here and I wanted to make it not parallel with that wall, I could go like this, correct? And make a wall that is an angle and lose this much floor space by the time I got all the way over here. Well, instead of doing that, especially in a 20 foot by 20 foot garage, why don't we just start here and angle it this way? It's still not parallel with the opposite wall. The only problem with parallel walls is standing waves. When a sound hits a wall, it reflects exactly at the angle that it hit it. So if it hits it at 90, it's going to come back and meet itself like this and create a standing wave. This is the floor plan that shows you how you're going to do this. Look at the bottom wall and the wall on the left side is an angled wall going up 12 degrees. Your top plate is in there. Do you see that? And then you're going to build your ceiling on top of that. Your ceiling goes on the new walls, does not touch the, nothing in this new room touches any of the outside of the building. This new building inside is sitting on its own cement pad, not touching any of the original garage. Now, if you look, you'll see how, you know, that angled wall is placed. There's your saw cut filled with silicone, so you keep the moisture out. And then there's your bottom plate, rubber underneath the bottom plate, rubber underneath the stud, and then it goes up at a 12-degree angle, and then you build your top ceiling on top of that wall. Now, if you're going to go further, you could do this whole building and build another room off the back as the control room. And if you want, you can build that little wall I've got in the dotted lines, to give yourself another ISO booth and an entrance to the control room there. Whatever. You know, you have options.